I purchased this one as a result of several people spotting it on the shelves of the Bristol HMV in my last video. That piqued my interest somewhat. It's basically a revenge western set in a desolate Finnish landscape in 1944, just as the Germans are being withdrawn into Norway. And so this is Sisu, a Finnish film made in full English language. Sisu is not the name of the main character, as you might expect. It's more a description of the character, and don't worry, there's an opening caption that explains all. It has a running time of just over 91 minutes, and that's perfect for a film of this type. Think along the lines of John Wick, Nobody. It's a violent, gory 1990s action film without the one-liners, as the main character doesn't say anything at all until the very end. The aspect ratio is approximately 2.40 to 1, and the sound on the 4K disc is Dolby Digital 5.1, but on the Blu-ray it's DTS 5.1, and there are more alternative language tracks and subtitles on the Blu-ray than there are on the 4K. There are two extras, there's a making of, and a feature on the special effects, which are on both discs and come to a total running time of about 35-40 minutes, something like that. It was shot entirely using Sony Venice digital video cameras and it had an estimated budget of approximately six and a half million dollars and grossed at the worldwide box office 14.3 million dollars. It's set in Finland in the middle of nowhere obviously a very windy location, very cold, and it's desolate. It's got similarities to another film I reviewed a few weeks ago, the Australian film The Proposition. That was violent, gory, and a desolate landscape, only hot and filled with flies that clearly got on everyone's nerves during the shoot. But this one is so cold, the actors must have been freezing for the most part, particularly when their shirts are undone. And some of these actors are actually submerged in water at times. So a really compelling shoot for this one and the landscape, the scenery, makes it very worthwhile watching even if you don't care for the violent nature of it. There's some bad language in it, great scenery, great acting and you do care for the main character but most particularly because at the start he's got a very cute dog with him you care about what happens to that dog and my wife and I spent most of the movie saying what well, is the dog is the dog all right but I won't give any more away about that you'll just have to watch to find out the 91 minute running time does mean this one isn't too long and I found the last John Wick film John Wick 4 I found that too long at about three hours but this one I think just right an hour and a half and the action is more violent as it goes on as they look for increasingly inventive ways of doing away with some of the German soldiers in this. And the German soldiers, you don't really care for them. You think, what a nasty bunch. But the driver of the tank, he seems to be all right. So you hope he's going to make it out unscathed. They've got some women prisoners that they're obviously using for their own means, but you don't need to know any more about it than that. But I think it does help to know that this film is indeed violent and vengeful. Thankfully though, it doesn't take itself too seriously and a lot of it is firmly with its tongue in its cheek. The image quality is good. It's not gonna be up there with a the best of 35 mm by any means, but it's got a nice look for something shot entirely on digital video today. It's been graded well and that density gives it a good appearance to the finished landscape that sort of draws you into it. And you do wanna see more and more of that landscape, the scenery, well, it's something different. It's not something we very often see. The sound, I think this was originally done in Dolby Atmos. Might be wrong about that, but on this disc, it's 5.1, which suits me in here because I'm sticking with THX Ultra 5.1 and it sounded pretty darn good in here. So I don't think anyone would be too disappointed, but overall, it's a worthy 4K release. It's not gonna be the best thing you've ever seen, but I think most of us, particularly those of us that like the action films of the 1990s, I think this is a modern take on that sort of thing without the one-liners, as I said. But 
I think most people will enjoy it. I got it in the two for £30 deal at HMV, the Newbury branch of HMV. I went in to see if they had the new 4K Arrow release of Carry, but alas, they didn't have that. So I left with Sisu and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Thank you to those of you who spotted it on the shelves of the Bristol HMV that made me think hmm, maybe I should take a look at that and in particular Christopher Ball. So thanks Chris. Now while I'm thanking people, Andrew Hazel went to the States recently and brought me back a copy of Point Break. We have been discussing it, I'd never seen it, I've seen it now and I would like to do a review of this but I went to get my Zone A Blu-ray player back online and it's refusing to play any discs now so I was going to do a review and go through all the extras everything else but that's going to have to wait a while something I have to get sorted but what a nice disc we were having a discussion about what this was done from and it looks like it was done from the inter negative which is two generations down from the original camera negative if anyone else has got any information on that because I haven't looked it up yet please let me know but would like to do a review of that one sometime in the future anyway only a short one this time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and perhaps consider subscribing so I'll be encouraged to carry on creating content like this. Until the next video, bye-bye for now.